All right, this is my 2005 Chevy Uplander. Um, sorry, next that 2007 Chevy Uplander, and um, I'm changing, as you can see in the picture here, this valve, uh, purge valve. Um, let me repeat that. Cars go by; they're noisy. I'm repeat changing a pur purge valve on this thing, and. Uh, I want to save maybe some of you a few headaches. I don't remember the error code. I'll try to remember to put it in the description. Car. All right, careful who all you take information from. I went into, well, here comes another car. I'm sure the noise of the vehicles will um, I'm sorry, but uh, the noise of the vehicles will uh, interfere too much. There's another car coming. Seems like the Indy 500 out here today. It's usually a quiet street. Well, I guess this is quiet, but any rate, um, I went to this one website that to told me that uh, this uh, vehicle, this device here, was on top of the gas tank and. Well, as you can tell, I'm not under the gas tank, or on top of the gas tank. Um, the problem is, uh, it was a different error code or something. I'm not exactly sure what it was, or maybe it's a part I'll have to change them. Um, change eventually. Knock on aluminum. Ha ha. Um, anyway, uh, uh, this is the reason. Uh, at least the current reason for my error code here and uh, I'll try to remember to put the code in there um, as you can see it, it was plugged in down here I got a 10 millimeter socket pulled out I don't know if that's exactly right but if it's a close fit sometimes you know um, here's the new device and this should correct my uh, problem here I go get go down to the auto store and they'll clear the code for me um they're they're really very nice down there uh, now I was looking at these clips and it's not always clear cut on how to change these pull these clips off there's a little almost like button on the back of here and I believe that you just get it off I will set this down Well, what do you know? Perfect, perfect perch. I've noticed I push this in, it spreads the clamp, so it came right off, no problem. These are pretty simple. See, out with the old, in with the new. There we go. Plug in. Now let me tell you, this is a godsend compared to dropping the gas tank again. There. Oh, I guess I don't need that anymore. Bye. All right, and don't worry, I'll pick up my mess for you eco freaks. Although maybe I'm an eco terrorist because I work on my own car as much as I can. There it is. I thought it was a mechanic. No. But it might be after some of the cars I've been through. Some of the cars these dealers around here sell. Some of the cars these dealers around here sell should be uh, sold to like the career center. I bet you they could at least get a write off for donating it. Teach kids to let them tear them apart. 
That seems pretty snug. Let me show you. Now, this is the reason for my purge. Now with the purge problem, now with these uh, dumb, uh, all the electrical crap in these cars now, you would not near, see near the wires in a car like a car 50, 60 years ago. This, this, is, this would probably make them think they, the Martians landed. But uh, at any rate, well, here it is. I tighten that ball. 10 mil seems to work. Um, I'm not one of those manag magical people who can look at a bolt and tell you what size it is. Um, and kudos to you if you can. I just trial and error. Um, anyway, there's that part. And the other part took a hiatus. Bye.